Are we good? That's stressful. Yeah. Um, welcome back. Episode 003. 003. Hopefully 0003, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's not. No. Live and direct from um, those that follow us on Instagram, that live and direct from Portugal in the Dom Pedro Hotel. Yeah. Lounge hours number one because it had the club cleaner compartment space, fastest one, best control, had the whole filler sand, whatever, and it had the UAV, <laughs> but. <laughs> We've already talked UAV. about this. <laughs> UAV? First time staying here, nice gaff. Giving us one of their conference rooms to set up a little bit of a makeshift podcast studio. So I apologise if you haven't got the whole shebang for you, George, on your first real... Well, it's not your first real appearance because the Portugal... Some of the Portugal videos will already be out yeah. by the time this podcast comes out. But we've had to makeshift it. Jake's done the best that he could. Well, let's just quickly introduce the guests on the channel. Then we'll introduce the sponsors. If you are new if you are new to our channel and you don't follow us. Um, Wesley, who have we got with us today? I'll introduce the man to my right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Because we have, we have a good relationship, don't we? There's just no need so to touch my hair. They, if, <laughs> so they probably know both of the guests, but yeah, the guy to my right, for those that don't know, maybe you just watch us for our podcast, is uh, Jake Kendall, a.k.a. Go on, I'll let you do it. Kendall Film. Kendall.film uh, on Instagram. <laughs> we'll let you formally introduce yourself, and I've got a few questions about your background, etc. and then obviously Ash. And to my left... We've got, although he's been, he was better today, he was, uh, if you've watched um, the round one at Umbria, um, our first day of the Golfing Days Pro-Am, uh, there was a lot of excitement for this man to my left coming back onto the channel, and he disappointed, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah I did. He lot. did, but to my left, for those who are new, is a, is, a, is a good friend of ours, a best friend of ours since a very, very young age, Mr. George Mason. Now, George was an integral part of the golf supplier for... A good part of two years, um, and then went AWOL. <laughs> yeah, um, I've got a few questions about that. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get to you that. blame me. Look at the pair of you. But, um, <laughs> for those who know him, yeah, it's George. Big part of the, big part of the channel. Lots of memories on the channel. Um, for those who don't know him, this is George. Big part of the channel. <laughs> <laughs> lots, of, lots of memories on the channel. But um, yeah, so that is, the, that is the podcast guest lineup for today. Uh, we haven't really got a script or much to talk about apart from what we've been doing in Portugal, the rounds of golf that we've played already, giving you a bit of information on our videographer, Mr. Jake Kendall, hashtag Kendall.film, no S, um, and just having a chat with George to see why he fucking ditched us, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. um, good vibes. So yeah, good um, vibes. Sponsors. Yes. Shout out to those. They're actually sat next door. So shout out to Mark, Ollie, and Olivia. From Golfing Days are obviously one of our main sponsors and they sponsor this podcast, so thank you very much for allowing this to happen. Uh, they're also hosting the program that we're on, which again, I'll get like a neutral opinion from George, because although he's played on the channel, he's a friend of ours, he, he won't say what we want him to say. I and mean, he was a paying player. Yeah, so like I've got yeah. a question later on, like a neutral opinion on it and what he thinks about it. But um, yeah, so right, they're hosting their first program in Portugal um, and then obviously they've got a second one that Ash is staying on board for and they've got multiple events so check out them on Instagram um, and then obviously go through to their website and you'll see plenty of information on there. Yeah, UK and um, overseas so if you're looking for overseas programs or just golf holidays with your boys um, but what we think sets them apart, what, what drew us to golfing days um, was the competitive side of their business so in the UK alone um, a couple of the ad rolls today will go into a little bit more detail about the UK competitions but they hold a ton of competitive golf that you and the boys can play back in England and I for one think that's fucking sick yeah they and, and the thing is I think a lot of people think maybe like a lot of these companies and golfing days do just Portugal and Spain because obviously it's where the majority of people go but like we said last time they're in Dubai in January there's a few little things in the pipeline they're working on with uh, places that may not have, you would have heard of, but may not have thought of. They haven't of. even told us that, though. No, nah, he's secretive. Yeah, he Mark's keeps, got something up his sleeve. He's a naughty boy. But, he is a naughty boy. Uh, but yeah, no, with, uh, oh, and Northern Ireland at the end of the year. It yeah. will be first for them. So, yes, six. Yes. All, of, all will be in the ad rolls. But let's start with, um, let's not get into the juicy one straight away, with Georgie yeah. Boy on the left, because um, we'll, we'll save that one. The boy to our right. You're about to introduce me as like a stale <laughs> first guest. Not, not stale. Save the best. Not, not stale, just not as juicy as Jules. No. So, but there's a little bit of juice here. <laughs> a little bit of juice. All right. Um, <laughs> Jake. Yes. You're working on a golf YouTube channel now. I am. Um, and I knew nothing about golf. Like nothing. Three months about ago. Golf, two months ago. Which you will see if you watch the video of Jake, Caddy and Ash, you will really see the extent <laughs> or lack of knowledge. Yeah, if yeah you guys should watch that. It's a really good video. You got a PB today though, didn't oh. you? It's a really good video. He P did set a PB, PB on, today. PB, PB on the range. 
I did. Yeah. yeah. How many yards was that? Would you say? <laughs> Ten. <12? laughs> no, no, it was a bit further. It was like one that you seven. Actually liked yeah. swing. And took a nice divot. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I did. Better divot than. <laughs> I didn't repair it. Right? <laughs> yeah. You don't need to repair it on the range, but oh. love that you thought about I thought that, about which means it. we're teaching him well. You said respect the golf course and the golf. Oh no, treat the golf course right and the golf course. You was right the first time. You, you cooked <laughs> and then fucked it. Yeah. Um, but Jake, yeah. So um, prior to joining the golf supply, um, and he's been a massive, massive benefit to the channel and welcome addition to the channel you can just see just off of our youtube channel the views um have had a very welcoming increase since jake come onto the channel he's been delivering his side of the bargain very nicely but prior to prior to the golf supply prior to videography what's your sort of what's your story boyo who are you yeah who because i don't quite fully know who you no, are. no i yet. don't in fact i'm still working it out actually. he's a closed what? book yeah. I will say I was not a full-time videographer until you guys. I was a bartender, and thanks to you, I no longer have to be a bartender. That's so good. You're that our best investment. That's right. good. Um, well, I was just like, I finished uni, and I did film, and it was completely pointless. And also, the film industry doesn't pay very well, so I wanted to do videography, because I loved cameras, and I was really good with cameras. Film industry as in TV? Like TV and movies, okay, yeah. yeah. And it really doesn't pay well. Like if, and also, you have to spend years and years like climbing to the top. And with like freelance videography, you can just get into it, fake it till you make it, and then like actually have like a full time salary. Keep that close to that mouth of yours. Oh, you sorry. Through. He's got a wandering right hand. He does, yeah. He likes to sorry, throw it. I never know. that so. close, but. No. I'll hold it here. Um, and I literally had just started that year. So last year, 2023, in January, I knew like nothing about anything. And someone came up to me and asked in the gym if I was a videographer because I had like a little camera in my hands. And I lied and said yes. And then literally from then, I've just been like, working so hard like working for everyone and anyone like for free or like for a little bit of pay and then till the end of like all the way to the end of the year i started like getting money and stuff and then i saw your ad on linkedin from the four brothers actually, videographer yeah, so it was actually we we um we were looking for a videographer and um the four brothers their videographer jack you might know him as your average golfer you might not know him at all jack banks um because he's in that videography space i actually spoke to him and was like Bro, how am I going to find someone who like does videography? Like, because the the golf side of it can be learned, the camera side of it. Like, even Jake setting up this podcast and stuff now. Like, knowing ISO and this and that and whatever else it is. Like, if you don't know that, then that's the basics of your job, pretty much. Um, but obviously, there's a lot more into it. So I just spoke to Jack and was like, Jack, can you do me a favour. Well, I think Jack actually shouted Jack. I think Jack actually suggested it. I was like, if anyone, because I thought he would get DMs from videographers like wanting to work with the four brothers and stuff like that. So I was like, if anyone comes through your Instagram DMs that's like interested in working with the four brothers and not that you don't want them, but like you might, might not need them at that time or something like that, then send them my way. And he was like, well, what I do as well is I'll just chuck up a LinkedIn post. Um, and I was not hopeful for that LinkedIn post. Yeah, so Ash, you, you, you're very stern and very good at what you do, but you can panic sometimes. Yeah. And, but, but I think it's because we only got it to a good place. We had uh, someone else shout out Bill for the last Portugal trip. Mm -hmm. And then obviously we lost him and we were like, oh shit, a cameraman is the best investment we've done. Yeah. So we don't have to run around up blue ice flies. And yeah, it's just progression anyway, isn't it? And then yeah, yeah panic stations averted when Bill mm. uh, decided to move on. And then obviously now we've got one yeah. of my best friends, I would say. <laughs> I, would argue, I would argue, how, Top long, three. how long have we known each Top other? Top three. Oh, we, sorry. Yeah, like, a month? like two months. Two, what, end of December, wasn't it? And like how 26? close we've grown in that short amount of so time. So close. It's just yeah. ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah, you woke me up this morning. How did he wake you up? He was leaning over my bed with his soggy hair and he was shaking <laughs> his head. And I was just getting <laughs> soaked. Like, it was great. I think you said you missed your dog, so I was just giving I didn't up. say that. I don't have a dog. <laughs> 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 he made that up. I made that up. You were asleep talking. Anyway, so we digress. No. But yeah, so I told Jack to put out an ad. Well, no, Jack actually suggested putting an ad out on LinkedIn. I didn't hire, hold high hopes for that advert, um, but then yeah, you see it. I did, and I was actually at work at the time, and I also knew nothing about golf except that the four brothers did it. So I was on shift with like another golf fan, and I had him teaching me golf stuff the entire yeah. shift. I had about six hours of a shift where he was just teaching me about golf. But when you was doing, um, is it called waitressing? Wait, bartending. Bartending. Waitressing. <laughs> but what do you call it? What do you call it? Wait, waitering. Waitering. Wait, I wasn't even doing that. <laughs> no, sorry, bartending. Waiting or something. Like that, that was at a golf club. It was, yeah, it was, yeah, it was a hotel slash golf club. Yeah, like. spa, golf club type of vibe thing. Yeah. Was it Butlins? No, no, no. no, Butlins. no he worked at Goodwood. <laughs> Butlins club. was before then. Oh, okay. He has that, yeah. 
that's how that yeah, was. He was a red coat. At, no, I wasn't no, a red coat. Please don't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you see, you see an advert on LinkedIn. Mm-hmm. The only thing you literally know about golf is four brothers. Is four brothers do it? Not that like. Yeah. Well, maybe they're sketches. Or I something. didn't know anything, and I, I, I had like a little piece of paper. I think it's still in my desk drawer somewhere of like golf terms that I could use in the call to make me sound Can you more remember golfy. Any of them? I know one of them was fairway. <laughs> 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 then how I was going to throw that into conversation. So I was thinking I could get an angle on the <laughs> fairway. Now did it. Now did it. Ash is thinking it? straight away. Fairway. fairway. Tick. Yeah. He's a golf guy. That was on our tick list. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tick, tick. Yeah. He's got to talk eight. about fairways in the interview. Yeah, yeah par eight. What did he, what, 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 on the eight par eight. Yeah, yeah, we're on the par eight. No, yeah. I didn't oh, say that. Par eight now. I didn't say that. No, three against one. You did. No, I did. That'll be on YouTube, so you can go back and not. No, it weren't. It was off camera. You par eighted it off camera. What coincidence? Um... Yes, yeah, so you see the advert, you know nothing about golf. Um, you send me a DM? Or send Jack a message. Send Jack a message. Jack got us in touch, and then like we were sending voice notes while I was on shift. Yes. Yeah. About, like, I actually don't know what we talked about. And then you no called worries. me. You actually woke me up the next morning, so I set an alarm to wake This is not a good story. I actually set an alarm to wake up for the interview, missed it, and then your phone call woke me up and so I answered it and I had to like pretend to be really like awake yeah you did sound like shit that <laughs> that's like one oh, thing hi. I've learned about him is you're not a you're not a morning person are you no, no. you were just like too much of a morning person <laughs> like, I wake up like 20 minutes after you but you have to make that like the whole thing like whole thing like you could have just let me stay in for 20 minutes but you just leant over me and shook your head <laughs> Like you are you are an irritant we've no, no, no 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 we, ta- we take in it. the morning you are the worst in the morning you're literally fine for like the Last third of the day, but the morning. Last you're... third? We're having to the middle third. That's, that's the shit. Well, no, that's... but he's good for the last third because you don't see him because he goes to eat. <laughs> so he's not true. there. But you are you are a bit overboard with Jake. In the morning, in the morning. But yeah. Um, so, yeah, so you're, you're, you've applied for us. We have our interview. Um, l- less of an interview, more of like a phone, telephone conversation and stuff. And then we bring you on. Um, for Aldborough. For Aldborough. For the first the video you 26th done. or 27th of December? No, it's before Christmas. Before Christmas, yeah. It's like 23rd. First ever shoot, Albra Golf Club, Aaron trying to set the course record. <laughs> he did not. <laughs> he did not. Bro did not cook. Bro, Bro did, Bro not, did cook. not cook. Um, yeah, so there's the first video there and it sort of went on from there. But he obviously you've got other facets of your videographer career that you're building at the moment it's not just the golf supplier unfortunately for us we would like it to be we joke with jake all the time i would love to have his undevoted attention um but you also do some other stuff in some other spaces yeah well. so like a uh, powerlifting coffee shops uh, <laughs> the list goes on <laughs> yeah the list goes on yeah but you like it with us yeah, yeah, no, I love it. Yeah? Yeah, the mornings, like I said, but it's nothing to do with you, Ash. Don't no, you worry. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> no, but listen, that, that piece of shit rolls downhill because Ash gives it to me. He irritates me in the morning, so then the shit just rolls Sorry, downhill. Sorry, I'm just not seeing that. Am I asleep for that bit? Yes, you're asleep. <laughs> what <is it>? Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so everyone, that is, um, for those, we've introduced him a couple of times in YouTube videos, but again, for those who listen to the podcast, that is our videographer, our lead videographer and thumbnail designer, graphic designer, pair Clip, of hands. Real maker, I make real maker, sometimes. Yeah, just, cooker. Just, just cooker. Overall just cooker. Overall just cooker. Overall Chef. cooker for the GS. These podcasts, <laughs> these videos that you'd have seen coming out of Portugal so far are by far the most visually aesthetic, beautiful videos that we've had on the channel so far. Um, and that is all to do with that man sitting there. So, um He'll want me to yeah, say it. Go over to Instagram, follow him at kendall.film. It'll be up on the screen now. It won't. It will. It won't put any <laughs> graphics. Description, right maybe. It It'll won't be, be on any graphics, but go over and follow him. Um, <laughs> there will be some behind the scenes golf supply stuff on there, along with some other really cool content that he makes himself and puts on there. So he is on a mission to reach 1,000 subscribers before May. Yes, yeah, followers. It's not looking May. good, but we'll see. Um, so, if anyone wants to go over and check out his work on there, then do so. Just right here. All right, Jake. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Yeah. yeah, you've done the promotion. Drum thank you. roll, please. Been sitting in the corner. Quietly. <laughs> <laughs> Introducing Georgie, um, because obviously people. Put, well, no, introduce yourself. Um, who you are and what you're about and how you know us. Well, I've known Ashley since a long time ago. How long? Year five. Yeah, like primary school. Yeah. Then Michael, not long after, is it? No, High probably school? year seven. Yeah, probably yeah. through Ash, to be honest, actually. Yeah, it must have been. You were the great Notley boys. Did you two play football together before Notley High? Nah, so it would have been... Oh, Notley Youth. Old, with your old man at Notley yeah. Youth. When us boys were rocking the three different colourways of F50, yeah. you had blue and yellow, 
I had black and white and you had red and silver. Yeah, yeah. and I was an absolute top bin Spider Man. And you you turned up every so, that's, just, <laughs> that's just harsh though. No, well, no, you, no, you was decent. What position did you, you play West? I can't remember. Centre back at the end. Left left back at the end. Left back, left back at the end. Started centre back, went left back. And where was you? Yeah, centre mid. Centre back, centre mid, I don't know. You, no, you were centre mid. You were the enforcer in you the middle. Mid, okay. yeah, yeah. Running around with Dan Edwards. You were, Edwards. D- you were a dirty footballer. Oh, I like getting, I just like getting involved. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, you were dirty though. You had a nasty streak in you. <laughs> well, no, yeah, you did. in general, yeah. You did not anymore. Not uh, anymore. Not I'm since soft now. Yeah, you are soft. Yeah. Children have done Children that Children will do that too, yeah. Yeah, well, soon to be. Yeah. But yeah, child has done that to you. But yeah, so go on, George. Sorry, who are you? Yeah, so yeah, we've known each other since young. Grew up with each other, played football together. Played golf when we were at school as well, didn't we? We did. About 15, 16 mm-hmm. at the Notleys. Yeah. You've done a video there. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't you? We have, yeah. You yeah. had nothing to do that one, It used to be better though, didn't it? It used to be decent when we were younger. But, but maybe we probably was had it? A, we probably had a free different... membership, didn't we? Yeah. Or was it like 70 quid or free, something? Free year with yeah. junior. But like... Yeah, for a junior. We had a different perception of golf courses. Yeah, then. it probably like hasn't it was, changed. Yeah, no, it, it was better. Really? Well, okay. think of like the fifth hole, the tee box through the trees and stuff. Mate, like, oh, true, There used to be a pro shop there when we were there. Yeah. And a pro. It was a demountable, but... Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I used to enjoy them days. No, the Notleys, no. the Notleys was better back in the day. But anyway, that pod, this podcast isn't. We've I've got enough stick for that. We can, <laughs> we can, we can move on. I to was that. picking them up then, well back in the day. Um, but yeah, so we started playing golf like fourteen, fifteen at yeah. Notleys. Oh, and then we moved on to another local course, Channels, didn't we? In the fields. which we all loved. Yeah, it gets me in the fields. It was fields. so pure. It was. It really yeah, it was. And then it got sold for to be turned into houses. Beauty Park. Yeah. And that is huge now. And that, that, but that course was there for how long? Like 40, 50 years before that, wasn't yeah. it? No, yeah. more. Owned by a family. More, yeah. There was members there that were 50, But you 60 think years. the amount of dough they've made off of that. <sighs> that There's Beauty like, Park. The, the housing estate there is like, it's like a town, isn't it? It's yeah. getting bigger and bigger. I'm yeah. pretty sure I drive past on the way to work. I I'm pretty sure they're building a train station there. Yeah, there is a train station. Yeah, they yeah. are. I thought they was. Yeah. Yeah, I, I had a feeling they was. Yeah. What are they going to call it? Beauty. Beauty. Oh, they are going to call it Beauty. Oh, they are going to call it. Yeah, Beauty. It will go into definitely. London as well. It'll be on the it main line. No, it is on the Chumpsford. It's after Chumpsford. Yeah. 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 And anyway, that was a golf course. Less of that. Yeah. Yeah. Geography. Um, yeah. So we played at Channels together. Yeah, which we loved. That one was that about 18, 19. And then mm. we, when that went, I stopped playing golf. Did mm. you not join the Essex of us the year nah, after? No. I enjoyed my life. <laughs> Stress free. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah. You stood away from golf at 19 and probably come back, what, five lakes, which would have been. Yeah, probably like three years ago. Three, four years ago. Yeah, three, four years ago. Played a little bit. We just done a video, didn't we? Me and you, you caddied for me for like 18. That was your, yes, that was your first golfing experience back. Yeah. You your cad- first you 18 holes. Yeah. Yeah. And you tried to break 90. I remember the thumbnail, you got like a towel over your head or something, haven't you? I don't know. <laughs> it's probably, it, I probably cooked probably on the stretchy. thumbnail, Jake. No, I, I was just cooked. thinking in my head, I bet this got them hard shadows. No, yeah, <laughs> no. It, it really cooked that thumbnail, I remember it. Um, and you didn't break 90. But you come down to like the 18th or 17th hole. Yeah, we done all right. Yeah. Well, you done all right. No, you helped. Maybe. I need help sometimes. Yeah, maybe. A lot of the time. Um, and then, yeah, so then the golf supply. The golf side probably had, had started back up. It's got to be less than four years in. It's got to be under three years. Yeah, no, it was. No, you I think you was already going a little bit before that. Yeah, but no, but that... And that was a little bit after, like a few months. Like six it, wasn't, months. it wasn't as far as yeah, you think. The channel hasn't been going for three years. No. Oh, so that's what I mean. So it can't be long. Yeah. Year and a half, maybe? Two? No, it's like two and a half, three. It'll be three at the end of this. Or like, it'll be so three years in like April. So it's like just under three years. Yeah, I started yeah. playing again about two and a half years ago then. Yeah. 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 And I just threw you straight into a YouTube video in your first round of golf back. Yeah. I enjoyed it though. And you signed up for it. <laughs> Fair play. That's why he's a friend. Um, yeah. So then from, you wasn't part of the channel then. You were just like, was just in a video. Yeah, it was just, just like, about. here's my mate George. Can he break 90 around five lakes? The answer was no. Um, and then uh, how did you sort of progress to being on the channel? How did that happen? When did that happen? I don't really know. How did it happen? I don't know. Don't even do I. I just wormed myself in there. You did. You just squeezed your way yeah, in. Yeah, I just leached on to Ashley and wormed my way in I, there. No, I think it was more just because at that point I was oh. just watching and wasn't maybe occasionally filming. I think, I think we think just planned a lot of it golf. It was you, Charlie Boo, and then I think when, what happens is one person sort of ejected, so Charlie. Charlie, yeah. And then as you had filmed a few videos, you just inside. It was just a natural... Yeah. Mm like have a bit of that because Charlie had gone why don't you be playing more people like you why don't you just sort of film a bit more that's how it looked from watching it anyway because yeah that's kind of it went nothing really said was it, it just kind no. of no. just kind of happened and then the same happened with us really Boob st- was still there I was filming more Boob left and then we us three were filming a lot and it just happens like that didn't yeah. it where one leaves <laughs> so who's going to replace you when you leave you haven't got any more friends 
yeah, you're done. I've, you're, I've, done. You're, you're done. You're, you're <laughs> on your own. I've run out of friends. If you're used to, you can't leave. <laughs> we did mention you on a... Oh, sorry. I just found that thumbnail. You did. Oh, is that what you, I thought what, I was you looking can, for. You can go yeah. for the camera and show them if you really what, want. Well, no, we'll bring what, it. Ash show me the thumbnail, though. Ash will put it on the screen. What, 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 there you go. That's a oh, sick thumbnail. Bro, cooked. That's a sick thumbnail. Put it on the, the screen. Towel on his head. He's hot. He's showing, trying to break down. He's stress. He's got the towel nah, from stress. There was no, heat no. in the kitchen <laughs> and he tried to get out of it. Yeah. Um, anyway, back to what he you was You were mentioned on episode 001, George, about, obviously, we touched briefly on you about hobbies and stuff, about how you're the man of many hobbies. So I did actually write down... Um, out of all the hobbies you've done, and if you've got time, quickly list them. What genuinely is and has been your favourite? It doesn't have to. So list, just go quickly. Rattle off your hobbies you've had since oh you. God. Since what hobbies have I had? I'm not oh, that many. George, oh, shut up, George. Well, I will go one at a time then, if you want, because yeah. I could name Why multiple. Why are we going to three? You start. Yeah. I'll go. You go. We'll yeah. name go. Hobbies. Any order. You start. Oh, <laughs> snowboarding. I still snowboard. I'm going in January. Snowboarding. Beer mixing. <laughs> <laughs> The mountain biking. <laughs> Motocross. <laughs> um, off-roading in a Jeep. Go-karting. <laughs> Football. Um, boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and golf. these aren't... Golf. golf. Yeah. <laughs> you had a motorbike. A motorbike, yeah, a road bike. Biking. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's it. No. no. Graffiti. <laughs> 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 and that is the truth. That is the truth. He was no. into it. What was your tag? I can't remember. What was your tag as a kid? You can't shake that out. People were over it. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Graffiti. No, that's not true. That is. You was into graffiti at one point in your life. Yeah, but I didn't do it on the street. <laughs> no, obviously you've done, it, to be a no, you've done it on a canvas. You've done it on a canvas at home, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was going to. I thought you was into drawing and that. Yeah, Party that is goer. true. Party goer. <laughs> Yeah, no, There's you. More. Yeah, you we were. We can keep cooking. And how many is that? That's that's got to be double well, figures. We've done like three there. That's and you were into well. like you went you, at a very young age before anyone even knew what finance was. You're into like cars. You had a VXR. Yeah, fishing. Car, fishing. fishing he was yeah, massive into fishing. Yeah, I did like yeah. fishing. You were massive but into cars now. You had a VXR about twelve. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Driving it. You had that blue VXR about seventeen. No, I had another car before that, but um, <laughs> I used I used to. Uh, <laughs> I used to come home from work at about 16, 17 for a licence and uh, <laughs> I'd push it to the top of my mum's road so she couldn't hear it start because it was quite loud. <laughs> and it was up a hill so it weren't easy working out to start it and then go out for the night. What was it? It was a really good rental car. It was car, a, um, it? no, it was like a Clio 18, like, so, do you know like Clio Williams, like the old Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. It was like an 18 valve down from that. I, yeah. still had it, I loved it. And then my mum found out I kept doing it. She just sold it without me knowing and I was really upset. Do you reckon that'd be worth dough, that car? Mate, that you yes. can't buy them. They're not no. about. They're not about. How much are we talking? You look on eBay, there's not one on there. No, it'd be like, mate, I paid like grand for it. It'd be like 10 grand or anything. Yeah, I reckon. Because those clear V6s now go for like them. 30 to 50 grand. They're not about. And Lisa just sold just it. took from me. <laughs> How much did you sell it for? Do you know? I don't know, but I'm <laughs> Hundreds. fuming. She probably bought it anyway, so it's her money. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so George obviously is a person of many hobbies. So it was really a ticking time bomb until, until George decided that he was going to call his <laughs> golf career short. <laughs> Um, we, I, I knew the day would be coming. I just didn't know when that day would be. It was longer um, than you thought. It did last longer you than what I thought. You told me at one point that you would give me a certain amount of money if I paid for more, played for more than six months. Yeah. And I did. What was the amount of money? Cough up. What was the amount of money? I think it was, it was in the hundreds. <laughs> was it? <laughs> <laughs> was it? Yeah, maybe. In over, the hundreds. Five, over five, I think. No, you did surprise me with how long you stuck at it. But then it was always, it was always everyone, unfortunately... It was always going to come to an end at some point. Um, as all good things do. As all good things do. Why this time? Ooh. I don't know. I just was getting worse and I had enough of it. <laughs> was you getting worse? I feel like I would. No. Towards the end. No, you weren't. No. No, you weren't. Well, I felt like I weren't getting any better and it was winding me up. Well, and, and the problem is, it just t- it, it takes a lot of time up as well, like... Even more like, so doing this. Yeah, doing as well. this takes time up, and like I've got a little girl, and then I'm self-employed. So if I don't work, I don't get paid. So it's different. Like I still like golf, but yeah. And then I used to go range all the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, just take up a lot of time. Yeah, it is very time-consuming, and it didn't it didn't coincide with Elsie being born. She was playing golf loads whilst Elsie was being born. <laughs> yeah, but it's, being, hard, it's harder now she's older. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? yeah, because there, she's more present. Yeah. she's more there. So there's more stuff to do. Right, the put, weekends you, are more you valuable. You put a lot of time into this. You do. I put oh, my life into this. Yeah. yeah. You do it every night. Yeah. Yeah. And when you've got a, f- you don't want to be with, you've got a two and three year old, or well, not both, but you've got, a f- what is Elsie free now? Turn him yeah, free. Yeah, she's free. No, she's free. She's free now. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Molly's watching <laughs> no, this. No, yeah, movie. she's free. First yeah. of October. So, when the first, like, my point of view in it is from like zero to one, they don't have a fucking clue what's going on. Mm. 
And then, but then Elsie now is a real life human. Yeah, yeah. Full on life human. Sure. Sassy. Ten before that, was she? Sassy little human. Well, they are. They're just aliens <laughs> at that age, aren't they? Well, they don't know what they're doing. But it's, it's just very, very. Golf as a hobby, if you take away the social media side of it, golf as a hobby is already so time consuming. Oh, yeah. And like you said, if you're someone who you take golf, because you took golf seriously enough when you were playing, yeah, yeah. and you want to try and improve, yeah, 100%. Then it just doubles the amount of time, yeah. triples the amount of time you're yeah. actually. To get better, you need to go range like three or four times a week. Yeah. And play work once on or twice. Specifics. And work on specific yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 So that's investment into lessons, getting that. Mate, I would like get better plans or whatever they are, would they? Yeah. Craig, Craig done well. I've got some other ones, like some plans to get better at golf as well. Yeah, that's a bad like a routine thing. That's a bad uh, trait of yours. Yeah, again, I'm an like, all or nothing guy. Another hobby. Yeah, n- another hobby is trading. Is, is trading, hobby. Trading. More of like you look at it from a business, yeah. I look at it from a hobby standpoint as well. Trading. Yeah. You're very all in. That's a yeah, great yeah. characteristic yeah, yeah. to have. No, it's annoying. It's an, no, it's, it's, a, it's a blessing and a curse. Yeah, yeah. It's great to be all in and everything because you give everything 110%. At the same time, it's a curse because it's unsustainable. Yeah, 100%. most of the time. But um, the, the beauty of our partnership with Golfing Days now is you can get some competitive golf abroad. Yeah. Which I like to do this because I like to keep an eye on it. Cuts us very nicely to an ad break. Boys, girls, if you're into your golf fashion, this is a completely unpaid advertisement. But I just want to give a massive shout out to Manners Golf. If you don't know who they are, they're a UK based golf apparel company. They've just dropped their recent Frontier Collection Volume 3. It's a lot of technical golf gear, but it fits and the quality is out of this world. I can't speak highly enough of what they are doing in the game of golf at the moment. You should go over to their website, mannersgolf.com. Check out what they've got on offer. I think they're also still running their Black Friday sale on some bits. If you want to pick up some graphic t-shirts, some hoodies, some socks, whatever it might be, you will not be disappointed in this gear. We rep the shit out of it. We love their stuff. We love what they stand for. Shout out to Manners Golf. Please head over to their website, www.mannersgolf.com dot com support a local uk business which is making great moves in the game of golf and pushing the sport forward so shout out manners we love you all back to the podcast here in portugal so yeah competitive golf with golfing days what i would like out of you george well that first of all that answers the question for everyone at home because the most frequently asked question i we get on the channel i get on mainly instagram and on in the comment section, you must see it when if you read for any, any of the comment section on a lot of the videos. I don't watch your videos. Oh, shut up. You're such a dick. No, but you genuinely <laughs> don't. That's the worst part. No, I actually, since I've left the channel, I watch more now than I did when I was on it. Yeah, you watch none of, like, when, no, you, when none. you were in the video. Unless you played well, I think you'd watch No, it. no I wouldn't watch them at all, ever. Really? I, I was there in the moment. I don't need to watch it again. Fair enough. <laughs> like, oh, so you're saying you do actually watch the channel? Yeah, I do watch some of them now. Yeah. You pick and choose. Like, if the video looks... Yeah, like I yeah. should probably use you as a marker of like George. Like, would you watch this video? Did you watch the one with me? In? Yeah. Oh, see what? And I might have watched it all the way to the end. No, you did. You said that was a sick video. You called me. Why did it flop? Because everyone well, says. One I, like. I like the one you done with the uh, clubs getting stolen. Yeah, that one was good. That was a good video. The we need to do stolen. something. We yeah, we got to get back in the cooking room. For yeah, we do. Though, we? Um, but yeah, the, the, my, one of the most commonly asked questions I always get. Where's Button? Where's Charlie? Where's George? Mainly where's George? Because obviously you were just uh, uh, in people's memory for a longer period of time. Um, but that answers it. And that has always been the answer. There's been no falling out between us. There's been, been none of that. It's literally just doing doing this. I'm lucky. I have no children. I have a lot of time on my hands. I can put a lot of effort into this. And obviously with Jake coming onto the channel as well, that light and lightens that load massively. But when you've got a young family, you boys will know at home. If you've got a young family, if you've got lovely little daughter like Elsie is and you've got a lovely partner like Molly you want to spend time with your family then sometimes you have to sacrifice other stuff and that just come at come at the price of the, the golf supply so we know where we stand yep. pretty much um, third place yeah Elsie Molly well, I don't know is it a toss up between Molly and the golf supply or <laughs> <laughs> just say your answer and we'll beep yeah. <laughs> just um, so we can hear it <laughs> yeah but that but that answers it but hopefully fingers crossed because you are getting back into your golf now um, not like as diehard as you was before, but like wanting, I've noticed it wanting to go to the range a little bit more to hit balls and stuff like that. But even before this trip was planned, just hitting, swinging a golf club. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed, with the partnership with Golfing Days and the opportunities that brings us and the events that they put on, then you'll be able to be back on the channel a little bit more frequently throughout the year and we sort of go away from time to time and the UK stuff that we're going to be doing with them as well. Yeah. I just think competitive golf um, with the boys, like we've said it so many times on YouTube, on podcasts, I just don't think there's a better setting just to be playing with your mates. No, no. Like today was, I really enjoyed today. Yeah, just adds, it adds value, it adds something yeah. for like it. Like they were saying to get hyped over. Yeah. yeah. Like and there was hype in. today. Yeah. There was hype we today. Were, we were giving it yeah, some mate. audible. Cause today was enjoyable. The, the question I was going to touch on for you was so, from a neutral opinion, because you don't give a, you will never give me an Ashley answer you want to hear. Just genuinely, from a neutral opinion, touch on like 
you've been on lads holidays <laughs> we know you've been on lads holidays and you've been on normal golf holidays is this your first pro-am though my first pro-am yeah. yeah okay yeah so like and i think we touched on it at dinner last night you said if you're going to go with the lads go with the lads and if you're going to play golf play golf but like how do you put like a pro-am with the lads do you see what i mean like so in terms of like is don't it rank it against Ibiza yeah is no, it no obviously but not. is it is it better than just going away and saying us three are just going to go play Portugal yeah, yeah, off camera like, or but yeah they're saying to you're playing for something every day obviously like all the, all the shots in that count if you want to wake up be fresh mm. put a good round together like you can win money and that can't you prizes holding one we won today we, we did get a bit didn't we yeah yeah. We'll talk about that in a minute but I did it's in my pocket yeah. phone in a hole and like, like today we was getting hyped when we was actually mm. making good scores and that yeah and yesterday we weren't getting hyped no, no, no. Yes, <laughs> yesterday I wish there was I was no hype. <laughs> <laughs> wish you was on a lads holiday. I might have gone laid on the beach. That no, nice. but again, that's but, but that kind of adds to why I think the programs are so great. Is because yesterday, if you're just playing with the boys, that round just sort of fizzles into a nothing round. No, that round yesterday, if you were just with the boys, would have been super bopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would have been yeah, early bar. That's true. That that would have been happened. Yeah. But yeah, but you but the, you enjoy the prime. Yeah, it's enjoyable. Vibe. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, hundred percent. I think there's like a misconception. Adds another layer to it, doesn't it? Like, do you know what I mean? Mm. It's yeah, not I'll, just going I'll, to play golf. You're going to play for something. Yeah. I think there's like a misconception. I guarantee there is with a lot of people because like, I bet if I ask Benny and stuff, there'd be a misconception. They probably assume that if you come play a pro arm, you have to like, it's all in front of people and it's all this. You play in your team of four. Yeah. You play with, it's not, we don't just get to do this. Mark doesn't allow to do this because we're filming. So just go with your pals and everyone else launch balls up. Like you play in your yeah. group mm -hmm. and then you play. I genuinely believe there probably is a misconception. Yeah. I bet well, you, you build your team. You yeah. get a professional golfer yeah. and then you build your free amateurs around that professional golfer. And then you're just going out and playing as a four ball. And it's the, the pace of play is obviously always a tiny bit slower, but you're in your own group playing as a four ball, as one big team that you've picked yeah. with the common goal of trying to beat the other, in this prime, for example, the other 25 teams yeah. playing against you. Have Mix. you noticed a difference? Me. In like, in, yeah, so like, <laughs> yeah, you, Jake, me. over there, yeah, you, Jake. Hello. So you've, you've filmed like, uh, the videos you've, you've done, like you've seen me play at like Walton Heath mm -hmm. and we've done like an 18 hole, just me, not the one with Josh and, and Harry. That was like yeah. a scramble. But have you have you noticed like a, without taking Portugal out of it, have you noticed a, a vibe difference of the video? When you said pro am, I thought there's going to be loads of people watching us and like a big deal and everything. But it's the same. But like the, it's you seem more excited about getting stuff, getting like hitting good shots and good parts. Getting like yeah. what? What do we get on the greens? Like what? What? How do we end the holes? Getting what? Like well, some of you end quite well. <laughs> like Bert. Oh, oh, like birdies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Birdies and eagles and all that. Yeah, it's no definitely eagles. Yeah. no big bird yet. No eagles yet. No. Never been no eagles yet. <laughs> maybe, no. maybe once. I don't even think we've been close to an eagle yet over the past two days. No, or we haven't. since oh. I've met you guys. All right, Jake. All right, Jake. All right, Jake. <laughs> 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 have right. We, not, have we, we haven't made an eagle since you've... No, 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 no eagles and no hole-in-ones. Uh, no, we have made an eagle. You just lied. How many hole-in-ones have you made oh, on the channel? What none. Eagle? none. Yep, thanks again. What eagle? When we played me, Harry and Josh in the scramble. Who made it? Oh, Josh. Josh oh, chipped in for yeah. eagle. Yeah, but that was Josh, like... Sorry, no. <laughs> well, it was on our channel. Yeah. Oh, okay. We own the world. Right, well, I've seen one, yeah. Josh yeah. did it. Yeah, Josh did it, to be fair. He chipped in on uh, 17 at Walton Heath. Mm. But yeah, it's certainly a different... I feel a different vibe. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail what I've been feeling playing in this pro-am, um, as this is my first ever experience as playing as a professional golfer. Yeah. Um, and that has massively changed uh, the feelings I've had on the golf course. Um, not massively, but it has changed the feelings I've had on the golf course. Um, which Aaron and those boys will be happy to hear. Um, but yeah, the vibe, playing in a pro-am, playing with your pals. We've got um, one of the lads, Luke, who is our fourth player. Um, uh, one of my friends, and George's friends longer than mine, but like good lad, he is our fourth player. And it's just good vibes. Like today we just, so we'll go through, we'll go through like the pro-am so far. We've got one day left. We're filming this on uh, Tuesday. Today is? Today is a Tuesday. Um, so how our trip has looked, we landed, we played a, uh, we played Laranjal, um, which is part of the Kinter group, um, and we done a 2v2 two 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 scramble, but me and Westy scrambled it. Uh, did you like Laranjal? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Good nick, yeah. Did I overhype it for you? No, it's good. It's just, yeah, no, it is good. Yeah. You're just a bit more, you're just like, you are a bit more, you're, you're a bit more of a golf course snob than what I am. <laughs> oh, no. You, in, in course design you are. Yeah, I just thought it was a bit all samey. Yeah. Well, you 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 value 
course layout and design over like course like, maintenance and thingy don't I like know. nice views and like stuff yeah. like that, like nice scenery. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Where would you rank Laren Jail out of like so we played Finca Quarters End together? Yeah. Um we've done uh Dunbarney Links Dunbarney. which was a great one. Yeah. We've done the Italy trip. Yeah, they were so we've done like Royal Park, Revere. I liked all them out there. Yeah. Where would where else have we done? Uh, Aphrodite Hills. Yeah, that's we've done together, that's Cyprus. Nice. That's decent. Um where does Laranjal sit in them? Yeah, it's up there with them. Just say <laughs> it. Just say it. What's one? Yeah. Out of them. Dunbarney. Dunbarney was good. Thinker was good. Yeah. Thinker was good, weren't it? Thinker was good. But it was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> it was windy and it hard. was so hard. Yeah. Would Thinker be number one? Is that the best golf we should have played? Yeah. yeah. Probably in it, I reckon. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. The ones in Italy were very good though. The ones in Italy were sick. Yeah. They were well Would good. Do you prefer the Italy than to Laranjal? Uh, yeah, some of them were nicer, yeah. 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 One yeah. of them was like really pretty, all the flowers and that, weren't it? And nice. Yeah, it was. <laughs> that was a little bit weird. <laughs> That's um, a different side to you, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You that have was, become that more. Was a little bit weird. Yeah, so then we done. Go on, Jake, sorry. Yeah, I, I was going to say, uh, still on golf, um, would you say that golf is now your favourite thing to film? No. <laughs> no, and there's, no. An, there's a number of reasons why it's not my favourite thing to film. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. One. I like. You what? Wait, what is number one? No, uh, do you want me to tell or you're going to say? Well, you say, and then I'll tell you if you're right. I feel like you think filming golf, particularly for two, three, four people, you have to run around like a blue ass fly. Oh, no, it's just like the duration. It's the, it's the longest thing I film. <laughs> like, it's so long. <laughs> but, like, you can never tell when it's going to be like. Like, it might just be like. Like the day when I did the video and we just nine holes and I was like, oh, sick, nine holes. And then like 18 holes, but it's yeah. like a long day. Like what, on when we, Rio when yesterday. Done, um, when me and you done just walking here for me playing, that was quite good though, isn't it? Like for pace of play. Yeah, yeah, When yeah. it's just one person playing, it's like it makes your job so much easier is actually videoing it because mm. you haven't got to like... Jake runs around like a like a fucking blue ass fly. Yeah, that doesn't course. mean I don't like it. I like filming everything I film, but out of if you like take into account the physical exhaustion of my body... Mm. This one's at the bottom, just because so, I'm walking around and shit, and like the temperature the past few days has been a bit mad. Be and I am wearing part, trousers, right? and that you is partially trousers, my yeah. fault. So what was yeah? So the, before Westy butted in and told you, like, so what? What were what was you gonna say before Westy said the running what, around the number like one the thing? Fight? Just the length, like the length of it. Yeah. Compared to the other things I do, mm. but that doesn't mean I don't like it. Like yeah. I love all the things I shoot, but if I had to rank them, rank them. Rank them. No. <laughs> rank them, rank them. Um, yeah. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. So we done Laranjal day one. Landed literally pretty much drove straight there. Um, me and Westy done a scramble video, which is already out on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you've watched it, won't give any, won't give too much away. If you haven't watched, it. in fact, no, I will fuck it because it's, it's out after. It's out. And if you haven't yeah. watched it, then you know what? We You're absolutely not butchered the 16th hole par three. Oh, we did. Oh, we fucked it so hard. Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, oh, we, which did. we we done yeah. so well, right? So we played Laranjal off the tips. 7,000, just under 7,300 yards. It was fucking long. Yeah, it was quite hard, wasn't it? The par threes were a joke. Yeah, the par threes were so long. The par fives were playing long. And me and Westy coming into that par three, I believe were three, three. under par. Yeah, we were three. Oh, that one was long as well. Oh, it? it was no, 215 no. odd yards. Yeah, 50 yards. 230 yards, but it was yards. Playing into playing 250. Win. We come into that 16th hole, three under par. Absolutely battering you and Luke in the scramble. Match might have already been over. They didn't win the hole. That Luke, was the first hole they won. Me and Luke couldn't putt. No, you didn't hold. That was no. one of the worst putting displays yeah. I've ever seen. You're lucky you weren't on camera, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, we absolutely butchered you two. Took all of the money off you as you landed. And we come into the 16th hole, three under par, which like the, the, the purpose of the video is to try and shoot the course record, which we put at 65. Yes. You know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we didn't know. We just done that for for the video. Um, but after about four holes in, I knew we weren't going to shoot seven under par. When we played no. that par three, the par four, the par five, and we seen how long it was. No. I was like, we're not getting seven under par here. No. Three under, I would say, is respectable. Yeah. Because we have like a very different window. Because there there really isn't going to be that many shots that I hit better than you in a round of golf. Off so, the tee, off the driver, something. If you get your driver yeah. going, there is. But uh, so I'd say three under is definitely res- anything own under than three under is very, very good. Yeah, yeah. So, but we had, but yeah, we get to sixteen. It's a two hundred and thirty-five-ish yard par three, playing into wind. I hit a shit hybrid into the bunker, short right. For some reason, I'm egging it on to go into the bunker as if that's going to be a better miss than like yeah, wherever yeah. else I was be. Yeah. Thinking it was going to be in the flat part. Do you lose a ball or do you hit? I think I wrap four on left. Yeah, yeah. I think. Yeah, so yeah, you're yeah. out of it. We're in the bunker. That's my phone smashed. We're in the bunker. 
um, we fucking make double. Yeah, we, we hit, we so, yeah, rat left, you go in the bunker, which isn't like, it's not great. No, it's, it's not the worst thing to happen. Though, yeah. but, and then we both yeah. hit absolutely identical bunker shots. They yeah. land within an arm's length of each other. Yeah. And then we just and the hashed green. the putt. No, the, no, green, the green was, was all, all over. over. We yeah. had to putt up a slope, yeah. like yeah. a travelator. It was ridiculous. Yeah, it was a hard putt. And then, yeah, we free whack it. So we go yeah. to... Go to one under and then we par par in, don't we? Finish one under in the video, I think. I think we par par, yeah. Yeah, so it's like a really gettable par four, but it's not that, again, off the tees, it was really gettable off the yellows when we played it. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, we finished one under par uh, as a scramble in that, but really good video. Course was absolutely immaculate, like it always is. Um, there's some good shots in there, there's some good putts in there, there's some good moments in there. So if you haven't watched the video, go check it out, it's a good one. Um, but I walked off disappointed in, in the one under in the end. Yeah, definitely. Because it could have... 30 be euro better off. But 30 euro is better off for yeah. the boys, yeah, which sweetened the deal a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then that takes us, everyone, into the start of the Pro-Am. So our first Pro-Am experience all together as boys, you and Luke being with us. So the schedule for this Golfing Days Pro-Am was uh, Ombria practice round day one, uh, Ombria tournament day one, Laguna tournament day two, which is today, and then Villamore, uh, Don Pedro old course, Day three, which I've heard is in the best condition it's ever been in, is By what the way, Mark's been. What do you think about today? About Laguna? Yeah, we never played, have we? No, nah, but we'll, I'll get to that. Okay, when cool. we talk into it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so day one we go over to Ombria, which I believe I don't, don't quote unquote is one of the newer golf courses that's I think been it was new last year. Yeah, been um, been opened in Portugal. Um, I'll let you start off. What did you think of Ombria? Ombria. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. How yeah. hard? So ten is like. Oh, yeah, but like no, it's a different heart. I mean, yeah. like I, fuck, I dogged it yesterday. Like it was so bad. So yeah. it was going to be even harder for me, wasn't it? Like mm -hmm. when you've got ravines, you can't get the ball off the fucking floor. <laughs> you've got a problem. You have a big problem. Yeah, like yeah. you are in shit street. When there's big like, carries, yeah, you've got an issue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's big issue. Yeah. Like the only <laughs> <laughs> big issue. <laughs> my only my only promise I had was if like I hit the car path off the tee and got a forward bounce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was Straight on the first. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what happened, yeah. You, West, Umbria? Again, I didn't play great. So it, it, in my head, I'm thinking, like, it's, t it's really, really hard. And, like, it, it was really, really tough. For me, for me personally, one of the tougher courses I've it, played. It's fiddly, do you think? Like, yeah. you, you've got to just, like, try and play your way around yes. the course. Yeah. And I think half the time, as I do this a lot, I sometimes can already be defeated on the tee box, which I think my body then just follows. Mm. So if I'm already thinking, can't go there, can't go there, can't go there, but I can go in that small window, so I'll just do that. Body's already saying we're nervous, mm. I think, personally. Do you know what you boy shot on the first day? Did you keep counting your score? Mm. No, 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 it, it wouldn't terrible. have been. Like, it wouldn't I, didn't, have been. I didn't finish many holes. No. Yeah, I mean, I, on the practice day, I really didn't play many holes. I just no. give up. Yeah. <laughs> Where did it stack up for you, JK? You've played, because you, you've played some decent, like Aubrey's, Aubrey's a top 100, Walton Heath's top 10. Aubra. Aubra. Yeah, no, I didn't like that one very much. No? no <laughs> nothing to do with it, it was just like cold. Cold? Yeah, well, I mean, it was December. So yeah. Aubrey, <laughs> um, for you, f in, with regards to favourite golf courses you've been at, where did it rank? Probably like top three, because I, I measure things differently to you guys. Yeah. For me, it's like temperature, quality of the buggy. Is there a buggy? <laughs> like, surely, surely yours should be measured on like yeah. the scenery, the like aestheticness. The no, I'm getting no. to that, and then the like the scenery. <laughs> so, so as long as the buggy's buggy. comfortable, yeah. As long as we give him a buggy, and he's warm, yeah, and he's warm. Buggy's comfortable, and we give him sun. So if you get them to turn the sun on, then fine. That's that's the, no, I think so that's yeah, a good, top three, top yeah. three, top three. Yeah, yeah. just under <laughs> Westerham, no, just above Westerham. And what would be number one? No, it would be Umbria. Oh, Umbria would be number one, and then Westerham, and then. Maybe today, to be fair, it's quite nice. Yeah, yeah. okay. Because the temperature was like. Yeah, well, right. we can't really do it on temperature. <laughs> no, okay. no, but, no but like for me. Jake's honestly been keeping a running tally of what buggy's been fastest. Yeah, I've got no, I've got pros and cons <laughs> of each buggy, like which buggies have which features. And so what's, what's Jake? Yeah, explain Start that. with Ombria then. How was the buggies? Well, let me get my Umbria. list. Out. Really? It's in no. Yeah, genuinely been writing I it like down. I like the feature in Ombria buggies. You could connect your Wait. phone to them and play music. I could yeah, work out. Wait, uh, which one? Ombria. Uh, Ombria. Oh, I'll add that to the list. And you could put the radio on. No, you could. You, you could. Radio yeah. station. You could. <laughs> well, okay, I need to add these. Okay, maybe Umbria takes number one because it was Laren Jow that was number one because it had the club cleaner. 
the compartment space. It was the fastest one. It had the best control of speed. Ombria's control, control wasn't Ombri very good. Ombria didn't have good control, did uh, Ombria had a delay, so you put it down, and then you like a second later. Us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fucking, you gave oh, us so let me actually uh-huh. explain why that happened. I rear-ended you because basically... Halfway, at full speed, yeah, full by speed. the way, oh, as well. At full slow. speed. So rear-end. basically what happened was... Uh, I'm not going to get in trouble for that. No. Because right? no. the buggies were fine, I did check. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> no, you didn't. Yeah. Basically, a bottle fell off of my seat, so I quickly took my right leg off the acceleration and grabbed the bottle. So then my left leg was on acceleration, which is usually on brakes. And then when I got behind you, I pushed down on acceleration, <laughs> thinking. So thinking was you was looking where you was going? You yeah, just yeah. Pushed. I just put my left foot down because you that's usually you the full foot. throttled it, yeah. And I fucking went straight into the back of you, yeah. 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 And then reverse over our clubs in the car park. No, as well. no, I didn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was a bit, me and Luke were very, very worried about your yeah. clubs today. Yeah. No, yeah. that didn't like, happen. We thought you could, you could get fact, your driver out. You want to drive over and yeah. say, what? You run them over. Today. No, I, like golf I didn't. So in our, in our brand new Jones yeah. stamped up. And everything was in perfect condition. So Mine's actually a little bit scratched. No, it's not. No, it's not. Is it? Yes. That is heartbreaking. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, Back to the buggies. Right, well, now I just feel really bad and like not in a good mood. But Laren Jow is, <laughs> <laughs> Laren Jow is number one because it had the club cleaner compartment space, fastest one, best control, had the hole filler sand or whatever, and it had the <laughs> UAV, but... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. What? We already talked UAV. about this. <laughs> UAV? Cons. Course map. <laughs> Con- <laughs> Shut up. Cons. <laughs> Downside, manual handbrake, so you had to put it on, and it's a bit of a ball ache, and <laughs> and it was slow. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it was slow. I've got... F- what have you got? Let's what have you got? I've got fastest one and slow on the same, on Laren yeah. No, Laren I think the fastest. No, no, today was the fastest. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. I've been... <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. All right, so and then Ombrio is number two. It had the screen, lots of snack space, uh, automatic... <laughs> Uh, automatic brakes, so you just let go and it's done. Which it. is huge. That yeah, that was good. Medium yeah. speed, so that's on like a medium level. And then down, down thumb is that it kept screwing up the UAV because when you got to hole three, it thought you're on hole five. Bit of a mess. Um, and then poor control of acceleration. And then Laguna ice buckets, which none of the other ones had. Great hole filler, yes. But then there's a couple thumbs downs. Poor control of acceleration, delay on acceleration, manual braking, and I had to go through three buggies before I got one that worked. <laughs> You know what? So. I just, I just. This is something I might try and keep up because I'm. We we could just have segments every so often. Even if JK is not on the pod, I might just pull you on every so often <laughs> yeah. and give the people an update. Because this did you is keep what? like a Western one oh, as well. Oh, oh no, this is it started. But I could I can put Western on this list. Yeah, it's definitely. probably like three. I think the people would like to know that now. <laughs> yeah, genuinely. yeah. Like, like what's in my buggy? And that's buggy review. Like. An in-depth buggy review. Yeah. And like this is. This is kind of what we're dealing with with Jake, everyone. Like this yeah. is this is who he is, and I love him for it. I think it's he, I genuinely find you fucking hilarious. Thank but you. But the, the, why you're funny is because you're not trying to be funny. You're just weird as shit. Oh, you. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, stop <laughs> it, you. <laughs> yeah. <So kind. laughs> nice man. Yeah. Um, but he just looks at he looks at golf and what we do from a completely different perspective yeah it like and it's not a perspective that we could even fathom uh, anyone would look at this sport that we play from but he's a he's a different breed um yeah. but yeah so ombria i would agree with everyone's comments super fucking hard golf course yes. it didn't give you any breaks really the par threes like the third hole or the 12th the 11th hole is like you boys hit driver into it into the pro-am day but we'll, we'll get into it it's like 250 par three yeah it was playing into wind um yeah, Ombre was brutal. So yeah, day one practice round. Um, I actually done for how I struck the golf ball with with my irons. Um, I actually done all right. I shot one under par on that day, which it didn't feel like a one under par walking off. I didn't think I played that great, but I hold quite a few putts that day um, and shot one under on the practice day. Day two rolls round, and this is where for your boys, it's, it, it, we stop we stop cooking pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, for whatever reason. Ombria felt like a different beast. Now it was it was definitely windy compared to what it was the day before. We had a bigger bigger wind factor to play with compared to day one. The wind was different. Yeah, like um, yes, but wind was different. Yeah. The wind don't affect your ball when it rolls across no. the floor. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> we tried to keep it out of the wind, didn't we? But it just I was but, knocking yeah. it down. <laughs> just no one no one cooked at day one, no. and that's kind of unfortunately like cocked us up for like the re- like you can't start that bad in a oh. pro am. And and expect to finish at the top of the leaderboard. We had as a team, 
74 points, which is two under handicap, um, which is shit. That's terrible. It's really, so bad. Really bad. So bad for best two score count. Stapleford, best two score counts off a full, a full handicap. I'm playing as the pro out here, so I'm playing not even off of my... I'm getting, actually gaining a shot back on my handicap. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm playing off a zero rather than plus one. George is off a 16. West is off 14. Luke is off four. Collectively, like... This that's bad. That's bad golf. Terrible, terrible. All round. No one ham and egged. No one helped each other out on the holes when we needed to. There were so many two pointers and three pointers in there. No, um, got off to a cold start. It was br- yeah. The oh yeah. Per- only one person scored. We yeah. literally couldn't that, have started any that worse. Nearly, we nearly had none. No. no we imagine that. We, we no nearly. The first. Yeah. If I didn't find that, or yeah. I'd probably go do that shot nine times. I probably blade it into the water nine times yeah, I mean, out of sure, ten. Yeah. We imagine that we walk off with no score. It was that was a big like for me personally though playing as a pro that I'm glad that hole happened for me personally yeah because like what me and you said of oh, it's birdies and birdies or doubles you can't do that as being the pro do you know what I think we got that wrong thinking about it now so you'd last well, time I could make birdie from just chipping out just short of the no hundred yeah. percent but where we got that wrong is so you play off plus one and you did last time in the pro am yeah we had Ron Dog plotting around going four five six yeah. deep so I could so just that go. was where the mindset yeah. come of well if you're gonna do that me or Arch are gonna score yeah your job was birdie or double yeah. I think we then assumed that that role just rolled to here and you're well, playing a different role yeah. And we, but I, I agreed with you when we said that. I was so like, we yeah, did get it yeah, wrong. Birdies we, or doubles? Yeah. yeah, no problem. We, I think we completely. Yeah, we, we just assumed the role. Yeah, we topped up big time. So um, I, you, you, if you haven't watched the video, I, I hit hybrid down the right hand side of the fairway. I'm blocked out by a tree. I'm half blocked. The green's blocked out by a tree, but I've got a full yeah. shot out to the left. But Ombria first hole, there's a, a sort of a ravine or stream that sort of cuts the one fairway to the other side of the fairway. The green's over the other side. I've got two twenty or something, but it's probably like a 200, 180 yard shot to get it to the to the fairway before the green. George and Westy have hit okay tee shots and then laid up beautifully just before the ravine and have got like 110 in. And this yeah. ain't a, this ain't a dig, dig at no, either no, of you no. two. Um, so I'm presuming, because I know both of your golfing abil- ability, there's a six out of 10 chance that you're gonna pop a wedge onto the green, two part walk off with your fives, get shots on it. So there's there's three points, three points. At worst, you, you miss the green, you're gonna chip up, you both gonna make six at worst. So there's like the two points yeah. you'd hope. You'd hope. You'd hope. Um, so I decide to pull a six iron out and try and hit a 35 yard cut around a tree to land it into not, not a big landing zone no, around there um, and just leave the face fucking wide open, hit it into Narnia on yeah. the right. And then it just a comedy of errors from there really. Wasn't it? I chipped <laughs> yeah. it out, hit an okay chip, rolled off the green into the bunker and then pulled my 60 degree wedge out and knifed. It's like it went stroke play. Because then I knifed my, my 60 degree <laughs> yeah. into the bushes that I just chipped out of. Yeah, it bounced in. Yeah, it went yeah. fucking went. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I start off with a double. My first hole was a professional golfer in tournament play. Yeah. Well, a, 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 bogey, a, a, a double bogey. Start bogey. as you mean to go on. Yeah. Start as you mean to go on. <laughs> um, and then second hole, I kind of fuck up a little bit again. Uh, you'll see it in the video. I don't need to go into that. And then uh, 18 uh, will probably live with me for a while. Yeah, it's something <laughs> you've done a few times on yeah. camera. Genuinely, George, I'm not fucking winding you up. I'm not joking. Because the thing is, what? Right, no, so I was laughing at how angry you was. Yeah. Oh, I he, didn't even outro the video. Oh, he lost full. Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. He lost. I thought the even roll. I thought he was having to nab your tool. Well, the tool on that your ball. That's what I was worried about. Yeah. Got losing your putter. My yeah, putter. yeah, yeah. Well, I was close. But he was full. I was close. Yeah. Well, the, he, I got JK to turn around, and he was just head in hands. Yeah. No outro. He didn't care. No. I tell you why, right? Because I've played amateur tournament golf before, club tournaments, all this sort of stuff. One being, I want to make a good account of myself because we've got a f- people who are following and what, might be following my scores and this sort of stuff who might be checking. I don't want to chop it around for fucking three days. So I don't want to be doing that. Two, as soon as you know you're playing against other professional golfers, you want to make it a good account of yourself. Yep. Um, I would have walked off of Ombria yesterday, not doing what I've done on 18, which I'll tell you in a minute if you haven't watched it, shooting four over par. And being like, fuck it, whatever. I'll take it. I played like shit. Didn't hit one good iron shot all day. Putted average. Drove the ball average. Walk off four over par. Starting double bogey. I'd have been like, sign the card, yeah. Cool, no problem. But to hit five iron across the corner, have 93 yards in, think I've pulled my 50 degree wedge out, which I fucking, I've done so many times. 
and have the most stock knocked down my favorite shot, great yardage, 50 degree three quarter punch into a flag with a backstop behind it. Everything's just perfect from there. Matt, not gonna say I'd make birdie because I wouldn't, but I'm not walking off with anything worse. I'd drop 50 balls down there and I make par 48 times from that, from that location. Middle of the fairway, flat lie, blah, blah, blah. Rather than hitting my 50, I hit my 54. And it comes up a good 10 yards short, which it should, and goes into the bunker. Now, I didn't have any mental resilience in that moment. I fucking lost my head completely. <laughs> was absolutely livid. Hit an, a six out of 10 bunker shot out of there. Passed the flag to about 15 feet. Rammed the putt. Well, it was a downhill, downhill putt. Yeah, um, fast. fast downhill putt. Put the putt three and a half feet past the hole. Yeah. Um, and knew in my heart of hearts that I was never going to make that three and a half foot of coming back. I think we all... I, I was actually behind George a little yeah. bit holding on to dear life thinking, what could happen here? Yeah. Do you know what? I knew you weren't making that putt as well. Y yeah. I knew it. Yeah. It was just, it was written in the stars at that point to the, just my head was... You can't was, make your putt when, you, when you're raging like that. Head was completely frazzled. I said to you as well with the fucking picks thing. The picks, honestly, on that ball, I, I was like cross-eyed, mate. Yeah, I know. I see you do it again on another that. time. I was like, why are you still doing that? Yeah, well, I, head was gone. Uh, the picks thing, I said to think, I play Taylor made picks. I've stopped playing them now because if you don't line the picks up, sometimes when you're going to go tap in a short putt, the picks line is lined up to to a different line to what the line on your putter is. Discombobulate like, yeah. the, goon, like the goonies. So you look at it and it, it makes you sometimes slice the putter, leave the face if, open or shut if it. If you're like pointing that way and the yeah. hole that way, and yeah. you like kind of, I don't know what you do. Like well, you, do, you like try and like drag it. it in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like I've stopped, I've begun to probe one. I got fit into probe one anyway, but I just had pixies in my bag. On long putts, they're great because you always line them up. On the short ones where you go and just tap them in, I've had a few shaky moments and I didn't line it up. I didn't anything. The fucking line was all over the place. I wasn't thinking of anything <laughs> else. And I just knew in my heart of hearts, I was going to miss that putt. I would agree. There was in no world that putt was going in. No, I also agree. Um, so I walk off six over par for my first... Um, not practice round for my first actual in tournament professional round of golf, mm. um, which I didn't deserve. But at the same time, you deserve everything you get in golf. When you yeah, when you lost it full, but yeah, especially the day before you was knackered and yeah, yeah, yeah. you shot one under easily. Yeah, that's was more annoying. Yeah, and then to go seven strokes. Not even just shot one. Not even if you shot one over again, uh, one under again. But even if you're like there or thereabouts, you know what I mean. I said I'd have walked off. I I I haven't hit my irons that bad in ages. Mm, no, I haven't. Look at the par, watch the video, watch me on the par threes or any approach into the greens, mainly the par threes because you use a lot of driver wedge there or driver lot into the par fives, but didn't strike a single iron. Or there might have been one or two through 18 holes. Didn't find the middle of the club face on my irons once. Um, got up and down from some places I shouldn't got up and down from. Made some putts that I shouldn't have made. Made a couple birdies coming in, thankfully. But I'd walked off and signed for a, for a 76 with a smile on my face after I played. To walk off and sign for a 78 just like fucking chopper like what are you doing what are you doing first and last hole cost me four strokes like is what it is um so that was Umbria. wasn't our hottest day 74 points as a team uh pro individual six over par to start off with we are now way way back on the field boys and that does tie us in perfectly for today's podcast ad break we have got two portugal trips coming up at the end of this year the first one the villamora pro-am 17th to the 21st of november playing pinhow old course and the Millennium Course. And then we have a second Golfing Days Pro-Am the following week at Quinta de Lago playing Quinta South, Valdelobo Royal and Laranjal. You can head over and get yourself signed up on the Golfing Days website. We will be playing in both Pro-Ams. Hope to see some of you boys out there. Competitive rounds of golf, money to be won, sweeps, prizes. Get yourself involved over to the website, Golfing Days. More information on there. Let's get back to the podcast. Yeah, so that's that's day one, Umbria. Um, we put ourselves way back behind the pack. Yeah. Uh, like I think, what was the leading team after day one? I'm pretty sure people got like high 80s. 86, Don't it? in the 90s. Yeah, I think it was 86. 86 which I is pro-am very, very, very responsible. That's what we, well, I've done, yeah, very respectable scores. We just put ourselves way back and we knew we had to do the impossible. Yeah. So now it's just all about making sure we don't look like chop dogs. Yeah. Really. And there was two pros that shot five under yesterday at Umbria. Yeah. Which is a fucking great score. Unbelievable. Which is unbelievable score around there. Yeah, yeah. Um, in those conditions as well, just like bravo to, I don't know who they were, but you two boys that shot that out there yesterday, like hats off. That's some serious golf. Yeah. Uh, there was, I think, a collective, I think there's 24 pros playing. I think I was 16th after day one. Um, then we moved into day two today. 
today? Tuesday. Yep. Um, and our fortunes changed <laughs> today. Yeah. Uh, we had to have a long, hard look at ourselves, and I'm yep. sure we all woke up and looked in the mirror and thought, today, well, me and you knew yeah. we had to do something. Because we've got it. it. It's, in, it's, it's somewhere. Oh, it's in there. You just got to find it. Like this, like a comfortable yeah. single figure handicap playing ability is in there. On a good day. Uh, yeah. So we just knew we had to cook, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we like had to lock it in. Bros <laughs> knew we had to cook. No you're always about cooking on the course. Always aren't you? cooking. Yeah. Like Even a bad day for you is a good day for me because yeah. it's content. So. But like well, we walked off. We walked off Laguna today. Got back to the hotel, and Jake said to us kindly, "You all played really well today." Oh, did you? Did I? Upstairs in the room, he said, "Like, oh, you all like, you all played oh. better today, or something." Oh, I, I did. Yeah, yeah, I said that. Yeah, yeah. you did. You meant it. I'm very proud Cheers, of you, Jake. All. It's yeah. very rare yeah. you give me compliments. Yeah, no, especially Luke. What you ex- Luke played especially well. Yeah, I would say you played the worst out of everyone. Yeah. Oh, of the team. okay. Well, Luke but then again, that's just, that's, that's just a credit they, to my knowledge of golf, isn't it? Jake's. Yeah. How much is there, West? I don't know. I'll make it rain on JK later. I'm sorry. Oh, come on now. One fifty. 170, I think. 170? Yeah. And what was that for? What oh, was no, 150. 150, 150 20 from right. yesterday. That is... In fact, yeah, we haven't even actually realistically touched on that. There is just the ability to win money within the money. Yeah. If you enter the suite, we Wait, paid... So f- sorry, we got that for, for coming... No, no, we, no we, we, we got <laughs> it. <laughs> from, from our efforts on the golf course today. You didn't the golf today. We done. So we, we got <laughs> that no, from... Yeah. <laughs> you. So, so, so like the golfers the today. Golfers. So what place like, did we so come Do you know when you that? turned up at Laguna today, Jake, and they gave all of the golfers the sandwiches and, and the bags and stuff, and you didn't yeah, get one? Yeah, that was out of order. They're not giving one. Away. No. No, that was out of order. Oh, Jake, you could have had mine, Jake. Jake didn't get the, like, uh, the lunch w- today. Yeah, Th- that's that the was same reason you don't get the money because you didn't hit any golf Because I didn't get the sandwich. Oh, right. No, because you're not a golfer. I give you a sausage roll. Yeah, you did. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so. So what do you what what split do you think you should get from that? No, I'm just saying, like. When we won the money, what position did we come to win the money that we won? <laughs> that I we think you're won. You're praising it wrong. Yeah. Like Just what? What? What position did we come to get what, that money? So Wesley, we, what was that? Was that swing well, money? This was swing. So uh, just shortly in, in these pro arms, obviously you play for an overall prize, placement prize, it's a Nash place for a placement prize, the pro. And if you enter into a sweep called two twos, you have to get two twos on that day, and then those that do will get money, and then obviously the more that do it will it will get split out. And I think pretty much if you look at the course we played. I really don't think people would be getting many two twos. We could have had a good amount. Today of money they there. would have. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, Tay. Today they would have. No, have on brand no. Um, and then you go into a sweep. So we've all put fifty euro in each, two hundred euro per team. But that gets you through the free rounds, and then that pays out on each individual day, not just the overall. So the overall get the overall off the free rounds, and the sweep gets you every single day. You go in for a bit of money. So yeah, we got we come third today. We got one hundred and fifty euro, which That's actually decent. really isn't bad Class at all. Earner. That's good. Yeah. Class so earner. we're pretty much. We earned a little bit yesterday. We've earned our money back. So tomorrow... One more good day tomorrow. Tomorrow's good profit. Day. We're in profit tomorrow. Yeah. We're in the yeah. green. We could win some money tomorrow. Yeah, well, for those at home that don't know what two twos are. So I could, like, you get it in two shots on the hole. So it could be a par three and you oh, make you a birdie. Oh, you a par three? Yeah. Oh, so, so you just got, as your team, you've got to make... Be when we and we did that? Uh, we didn't... We did it on Bria. We didn't here. How did we get the money then? Because that was because it was a we swing, Jake. Today. So we have like... So two twos is one competition. Yeah, yeah. And then we have a second competition. So it's individual swing. So. Uh, like, so you have like the tournament, yeah, that we're yeah. all playing in, yeah, the, the, yeah, and then that's like a three day tournament, and then everyone's collective points in the team. The two best scores has a collective points at the end of the day. Over the three days, you add those collective scores together, and you have a leaderboard. The yeah. swings, you put two hundred euros in, fifty euros ahead, mm-hmm. and it breaks it down to individual days. So today we finished with the third highest score. Good for us. Yes. Yeah. So we Good earned one. We yeah, earned we 150 pounds for being third Good today. For us. So there was two. <laughs> great for us. Great for us. Not so great for you. All no. of us. All of we, us. We yeah. cooked today. We cooked yeah. today. Took up a cooked. storm. Yeah. yeah. So about what are you can have for dinner now. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. What well, we have for dinner? We'll buy you dinner with that money. Yeah. You, yeah. you might not have to have McDonald's is. tonight. No, no way. We'll, we'll buy you dinner with that money. Tonight. I don't mind if we buy McDonald's. What we no, we'll go out. No, we'll, 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 we'll treat you. We'll celebrate tonight. Cool. We'll, we'll celebrate. celebrate. Oh, look at you. Yeah, we yeah. will. <laughs> 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 yeah, Crazy. so Laguna. Um, so round two, Laguna, Don Pedro. None of us have played it before. No. Nope. Um, Going to be honest with everyone, wasn't holding high hopes for the golf course from what I'd heard from people talking about it, um, but was pleasantly surprised. Yep. Georgie? Easy golfing. Tell us about it. Yeah. You you break down Laguna for us. Laguna, in, yeah. It yeah. was, uh, yeah, I went the same as Ash. I weren't really expecting much from it. But when we arrived there, 
nice range, nice little clubhouse where we sat and had a drink. Yeah, very it? nice yeah. facilities. Um, actually. Two yeah. putting greens. Two putting greens. The range was actually dual you sided the as well. Yeah, 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 yeah that's green. Well, yeah. Yeah. And it was in good nick. Like, yeah, it was. very good green. Yep. The, yep. Gr- the, gr- the, the greens were pretty decent, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. they very were. Very grainy. Yeah. yeah, yeah very grainy. So the speeds like very the whole way around. I think like. I think it depends where the sun is and everything with the grain and stuff like that. I don't the, really the, know. Grass, the way the grass grows. It's I beyond me. I'll just yeah. try and hit the ball in the hole. Yep. <laughs> Struggle with that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was, fun, it was fun to play. It was. 6,357 yards off the tees we played today. So we played ombre off the backs um, because off the forward tees is quite shorter. It's like in the 5,000s. So they put ombre off the backs. Um, Laguna off of the yellows is 6,357 yards. So that is the tees we played today. One, one away from the backs. Yeah, I think uh, I could probably say that the three of us played very, very cool. You two have played obviously a few better. So I would say we could fall into the category we spoke about this golf snob, mm-hmm. which is why I would say going into today, we're a bit like, have we yeah. heard of it? Has there been something played there? So automatically, I feel like we're on that mm. style of it. Mm-hmm. But then I, I said to Ash on the way back, I think courses for me personally break into two things. Is it really, really like good, proper championship course, like Laranjal's 7,200 yards or like a, a Finca or something? Or then if it's not one of those abroad, it just has to be a really fun course. Yeah. Yeah. And I would say today wasn't like a great championship course. No. But as holiday, uh, golf course abroad in the sun and that, it was just really fun. Yeah. Like just, you could have nice fun knocking it around. Fun, there. fun yeah. resort yeah. course. Yeah, they're just like the one yeah. in Spain, isn't it? Yeah. Fun, yeah. yeah. Toro Cabrada. Toro Cabrada, yeah. love yeah. it. It's got Toro, Toro Cabrada's better. Yeah, yeah. A lot better yeah. than Laguna. But it's a, um, it's a fun resort golf course to yeah. play. Um, so yeah, so we, we come third, boys. We shot, uh, as a team, 86 points today. Um, we did not drop any lower than four staple points on every single hole, which through 18 holes is bloody good going. We left a few out there. We did leave a few out there, there, for sure. Um, there was a few short putts missed that could have could have upped that tally a little bit. There was yeah. a few dodgy moments from myself that could have upped that tally a little bit. Um, but we cooked today, as a team. As a team? We, we done really well at Laguna. Um, we were pretty wet. What's that, sorry? Oh, yeah, wet. you did. <laughs> George on the fucking <laughs> 16th hole, par three. I don't, 17th hole, par three. I mean, how did you think that was going to end? Did you ever think, by the way, did you ever think he could hit that? When no. you were just setting him up? No, he could not hit it. Yeah, it so when you said you, you could hit it, you were setting him up. Right? No, no, he I, said he could hit it. No, I, I originally said, no, just pick it up. And he went, I think I could hit that. And I went... Looked at it, the ball was six inches under the water. Yeah, but I thought if there's, just, there's always a chance if you ever go. If you don't ever go, you don't know. Yeah, I don't. I'm not saying I didn't respect it. But I wanted to get my ball in play. Yeah, I didn't. I don't. And that was all for the we team. Was a heater. I wanted them points. But he, he was never coming out. He was never making contacts in the golf oh, ball. And the, only, the, 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 the eventuality that actually panned out was the only eventuality that was ever going to yeah. happen. And it would go muddy and gritty and covered in and shit. Pondweed. Yeah, covered in <laughs> shit. Did it smell? No, I didn't smell, but it was oh. like all gritty in my shorts. Yeah. yeah. Oh. That's, we've got shoes. something on the Golf Supply channel where it just, we, a, a ball end up in, in water and people try and hit it out of yeah. it when we're in Portugal. But I respect it though. Yeah. I mean, we're, yeah. we're committed to the cause. Aaron done the same thing. He did. Legs rolled up and left it in there as well. Yeah. Then made an incredible five. 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 Did he get five it out? Second attempt. Second attempt. But then just got up and down from 100 yards. Oh, he went again. Hits it into the water. Laranjal went in pole. Goes to hit it out of the water. It just about makes out the banks. Rolls back into the water. Chips it out of the water to the middle of the fairway. So he's playing four from 100 yards now, 120 yards, probably, probably middle of the fairway. Right, yeah. He's got no shoes on, no socks on. Stands up, pulls his wedge out, hits it to a, an average chip in the yeah. dark. It's no, pitch yeah. black Not when close. we're playing this. So like 18 feet left of the pin. Doesn't bother putting his shoes back on. Gets back in the buggy, goes down something and holds the putt for par. <laughs> <laughs> Freak. That's why we Ron call Dog. him a weirdo. Yeah. Mine Ron. didn't quite go like that. No, George, no, <laughs> George, no, no, no. Didn't, George didn't pan out that way. Um, but yeah, 86 points. Uh, I... My ass fell out on the 18th today. I shot a, a, a underwhelming, I would say, for the ease of the golf course, level par today. Um, I had two free wax in there, bottled it down the last. And this is what this is what led me on to playing as the professional in the group gives you different feelings. Well, I think there's a lot of responsibility, personally. Not even from the responsibility side. It's more so you you have to finish every single putt. If I'm playing as a, a and I fuck up a hole or something like that, or someone's already in for two to two points and I've got a three footer there and it's mine's only for two points. I haven't got to worry about hitting the putt. You just pick it up and fuck it off. Yeah, it, don't, yeah. it don't matter. So yeah. those stressful putts. I've never, uh, on the putting green, so I had a really, really average first putt putting day today. Second putts was okay. I, I managed to make a, yeah, you, a lot of my... Nothing really dropped for you today. Not really. I, well, I had two From or three... usually would. Yeah, like, I had two or three, but my 
distance control going from playing on Ombria's greens yesterday to the grainy sandy greens of Laguna today my distance control from the very get go was shot to bits yeah. it was all over the gaff so like my first putts today were putting myself in such stressful positions to try and make my par on so many of the holes that I scrambled around to a, I was one under made that fucking bogey on that par five from nowhere, left hand side of the green, hit that 54, which I oh, still think yeah, was the yeah. right club. It clearly wasn't. Oh yeah. And then should have chipped it out of that, like because it's so thick that stuff around the yeah. around the green, isn't it? It's not fringe. Yeah. The, the thing is, the greens I found today they were quite small and there weren't much space like no. either no. side of the flag, no, no, so no. it was just hard to get the ball to stop. Yeah, yeah, it was, and the greens were firm as well. Yeah, like, like there was nothing pitching and stopping. It no, bounced yeah, when it hit like, the greens, yeah. which was strange because they were like fluffy. Yeah. But yeah, it still weird. bounced. Yeah, they were strange. like fluffy but firm yeah. and grainy. And I think it's because it's sandy, so they stay really dry, so the ball doesn't actually ever fully pitch. Yeah, yeah. It's not mud underneath it. Um, but yeah, I was one under coming into that par five, and then I make bogey out of nowhere, 550 yard par five. I'm, I'm pin eye left mm -hmm. and walk off of a bogey. Um, takes me back to level. Then I make birdie on the. Is it the par three? The, no, you made birdie on the par four before that, the good putt down the hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah birdie on the par four. Oh, so I bounced back birdie. Parred the par three. Parred the par three, coming into 18. One under. And and just bottled it. And then just hit a, not the, one of the worst drives you hit all day. Yeah, but I was nervous over the drive. Would you? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'll be honest. Hmm. Yeah. Because I think... Um, I mean, it still went a bad drive, but just offline, weren't it? Yeah, like I, just, hit, I just drive on the road so, day pretty much. Yeah, I hit drive on yeah. so good, but then standing over that one, I was just, I was, I was, ner I was not nervous, like because I thought I was going to hit a bad shot. I just nervous. Nervous is the wrong word. You wanted to, you wanted to finish in the red. I, I just wanted to par. All I was thinking of was just make four and just get off the hole. Like I had no intention there to go at a flag on a second shot or do anything. I just thought been hitting driver well. Clearly didn't put a good swing in it because I had that thought in my head. Blocked it outright. Fatted that rough that was in though, that rough was nowhere else on the golf course today. <laughs> no, I had a couple, I no had that was very like, like down to your ankles, yeah, like, yeah, pick, yeah. It was English rough, yeah. it just weren't, it was like, and you get so much, yeah, rough weed, your and weed and stuff, yeah. Hadn't didn't have that lie once today, it was actually sitting up relatively okay on it and just and just caught it heavy, the pitching wedge, and then yeah, just didn't get up and down, so it was a level par rather than a one under. Um, and yeah, so it was just it was just average, it's what it is, yeah, it was just an average round. You need, you need to shine tomorrow. Yeah, but yeah. we move on to my one of my f my more favourite golf courses in Portugal tomorrow. That excites me. It should. Yeah, I've not played there. So yeah, I like it should. It. Old course is a very very good golf course. Does that excite you? I'm very excited. From an yeah. aesthetic. From a, he said it was very aesthetic. It's yeah, very it's aesthetic. Lovely. It's very aesthetic. I'm very That's, excited. I love how that works as well, like Nick. Because think about it. So we're both we're all looking forward to it generally to play golf, man. And it's just so strange how you get excited because it will just look good on camera. Because well, I've got to like be there for so long, but also like <laughs> no no sorry that was a bad that was a bad that go, you do you do do a shift to be fair because no, we, like, we get in there an hour and a half early. Yeah, it's a long He goes away. He flies the drone around. No, but like. If we if I'm there for that long and it's ugly, yeah. like the shots won't look nice. I like I'm just in it for yeah. like like when we're in UK. Oh, when we're in UK and it's like dark and cold, yeah, it just looks terrible. And I like, think there's no vantage point for you either, is there? No, it's just like standing I'm not like oh this way. looks really good. Like, I've done a really good job today, which yeah. I feel like I've done on every day we've been here mm. because it's been nice weather and it's a beautiful course every time. You have got things to work with as well. When you, yeah. buggies. you like working with the buggies. I don't love you? the buggies. But you man. like buggies. To sit in. Yeah, this is my first time using golf buggies. Yeah. No, sit. Western. No Western, Western but like yeah. this is my first time like using golf buggies. The only thing yeah. you might be dis I don't I don't remember old course having outstanding buggies. They've got GPS in them, I think. Oh, they have? Well, that's going to be a tick on JK's list. I think. Yeah. Fantastic. I love and this I think, I think they've got a club cleaner. Honestly, the biggest thing for me is the They've got break. comfy seats. What about an icebox? Comfy box? seats but the, and a brake. I think they've got icebox. Really? It's the brake yeah. manual. Yeah, it's the brake I'm manual. Sure. That's the main thing. I think it's that. a crap brake. Are you oh. talking about like... I don't know. Like don't as in me. the no, like double click. Yeah, he don't like the little the button. The little yeah. button. Oh, you don't like the... No, because Handbrake's just automatic. Was it Umbria? Yeah, they did it. You get the noise, it goes... Yeah, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. But apparently old is looking pure, isn't it? Apparently so. I've heard that for people that have played old course in Portugal, the the rumour mill going around, because Golfing Days have had their Knott's PGA Pro-Am out here, their overseas Pro-Am. Their final day was today and they played old course and it's the best condition that it's ever been in. Ever. Promising. Yeah, so they they completely reseeded every single inch of the golf course at the start of January. Have you only played it once? Yeah. And that was like shortly after COVID, so I don't think it's in the best state, was it? No, no, it wasn't I've terrible. Played it again since then. Yeah, but apparently overseeded. It's had a ton of water and it is playing and looking the best it's ever played. Much tighter. It's a completely different golf course to Laguna. Nothing like N Laguna. A little bit tighter. Tree well, quite a bit tighter tree lined similar yardage off the tees that we'll play 
tomorrow. Um, but I just think aesthetically, it's just a really, really nice mm. looking golf course. The greens are always immaculate yeah. there. Tee boxes are really always good, like really good. Um, we just need another low one tomorrow, boys. Yeah, uh, we just got to cook into the 90s, why not? We're on a bit of a heater now. Let's get there, have a good warm up. Yeah. JK's going to cook as always, our very own. Well, you're going to surpass Colin. Yeah, what time's tea off tomorrow? 12. It's late, us, 12. Oh, okay. Cool. That means a lane, Jake. You like that, buddy? Oh, no, I don't care. No, obviously, no, I don't, don't You don't care about yeah, a lane. Do, we have to drag. That's one thing I'm not old. You never have to drag me out of bed. You're taking a piss. You just, you're not clear about the time that we need to leave. I don't need to be. No, Westy's like, oh, it's like t- 10 minutes from now. And then, like, that's a funny joke, but you don't actually tell me the <laughs> truth. You just stick with that one joke. Maybe because we said I don't this. stick with any jokes. Because we have like, Well, you don't fucking answer me. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, always, you always go running to mum. I'm like, mum? Because <laughs> he go, tells me the truth. You just make some fucking You go shit. running to good cop. We know that the, 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 the how it goes is me or Ash normally get up. Then one of us get in the shower. Then the next one gets in the shower. And then naturally you get in the shower. And then naturally when we're all shower, we just go to breakfast. We don't really, I don't really think we you operate do, off You do clock. really need like a lot of timing. No, what I need you. to know is when we're leaving. Like, I don't want to just... Yeah, like when we've showered. Whenever, like, <laughs> I have stuff to do. I don't want to just <laughs> What, do you, what do you do in the like, morning? The other day, like today, we had loads of time, but you guys were like, yeah, we need to leave because we have nothing to do. Like, I could have done stuff this morning. What if, no, we got to the golf course later today than we have any other day. It just yeah. happens that the tea times were delayed. Yeah, we got no, to the golf course what, no, only I, an hour and no, ten. No, I don't mean later. I mean like today we got up early enough to like have time, but so when we because went we had time, we just left earlier. <laughs> we <laughs> didn't leave yeah, earlier. No, we didn't. No, we did. What could so you have we done in the morning yeah, as well? This is my question. When we went to breakfast and you didn't come to breakfast, mm-hmm. what did you do? So on I was, TikTok. I was doing work on my laptop. No, no, I didn't. I literally got up the second you guys walked out the door. You I'm TikTok. I got up the second you walked. I did not even look at my phone. I did laptop stuff and I came downstairs. You TikTok. No, I didn't. I know it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I promise to you. I promise to you. The second you guys got up, I showered and then I was doing laptop stuff and then I came downstairs. Never I promise. Do you hear that song at night at all? Oh, shut up. Yeah, because you guys are watching TikTok. By the way, you went to bed so early. He was watching TikTok yeah, for no, like an hour was, and a yeah, half. He got into a worm. He was I doom got into We're like bang on the North Sea at the minute. Yeah, North Sea and Sharks. Yeah, it's our new like North Sea is naughty. Yeah, yeah, the North Sea is, is, is a wild place. Five percent of the ocean. In fact, like we're bang on it at the minute, aren't we? Wild. Place. No, yeah. so don't act like I'm well, also watching in it. Well, wait, You wanted to be we when it was 150 euros, and now all of a sudden <laughs> yeah, you don't, no, don't want to be we when it's your. your <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, yeah, so just thought we'd, uh, we'd, we'd whilst we've got George present and in the moment, um, we get a pod going. Uh, good to have him back with us playing golf on a friendship level and a content level. Uh, he gave a lot more to today's video than he did yesterday's video. Um, Umbria. You did not cook in front of the camera. And tomorrow's only going to be better. And tomorrow's only going to be better. I think tomorrow will be the highest vibes out of all three days. We're playing the best, I personally think, the best golf course out of the three days. Ombre's design is fantastic. Yeah, Ombre's nice. Um, if you're thinking of coming out to Portugal, you want to test yourself a little <laughs> bit and play. It's, it's Amandira No, I feel style. like it's a bit like Monty Ray, but like a bit smaller. Yeah, Monty Ray on a, on a smaller scale. Yeah, like, yeah. Um, and a little bit less grand. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that style of golf course. Um, definitely go and check Ombria out. Come on to Golfing Daisy's website or check out their packages. I think they've got uh, all of the Don Pedro groups, all of the Kinter groups, and um, I think they've got Amandir and stuff on there as well. Um, but we definitely recommend you play in Ombria. Just know that you might not shoot a handicap, is what I'm going to say, because <laughs> it's fucking hard. Um, but yeah, this is the Golf Supply Podcast. This has been episode three. Uh, reporting... Uh, sorry. <clears throat> zero, 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 0003 of the Golf Supply Podcast. That's more than you... What? Shut up, Jake. What should we call it? That's four zeros. How many zeros? Yeah, because well, hopefully we're going to make thousands of episodes. All right, well... Are you in this for the long or short haul? I don't think... I think he's in it for the short. Are you going to surpass Colin Ross or not? Yeah, sure. I know that guy and I'm going to surpass Good, because yeah. photographer that I showed you. You're damn right you are. Yeah, there, I'm going to pass that photographer. We'll, uh, yeah. we'll let everyone know in uh, the Gold Supply podcast episode four where Jake uh, ranked the old course buggies for those who are who are wor- <laughs> uh, worried. I'll send you guys a list. <laughs> we'll make sure that they that yeah. goes in the notes page. Um, but to Don Pedro Hotel, to Golfing Days, uh, thank you for having us out here. For you guys at home listening to this on Spotify or well, we're listening or watching on Spotify or YouTube, we appreciate you all. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, we enjoy this podcast a lot. We need to put it on. We had a request for Apple podcast. Yeah, I need to figure that. Do you know how to do yeah, that, you, Jake? you do need to go on Apple. <laughs> We're not making like, an Apple. Is that where you listen Apple. to podcasts? I listen to my podcasts on Apple, yeah. Really? Yeah. Weird. Didn't fit anyone. That's your own uh, No, and we did look. You said you will look to George for feedback from now on. So yeah. Always an Apple. No, I said weird. Didn't know, didn't know you did. Unless they're not, then I watch them on YouTube. But I don't watch them and listen to them. Yeah. Jake, can you cook that up for us? 
some form of Apple yeah, podcast I, login. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I can Well, do for that. those who want to do it on Apple as well, make sure that you like and subscribe on YouTube. Make sure you follow us on Spotify and uh, Apple. Apple Podcast, is it called? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. Apple Podcasts. Um, as the music plays in the background, you can probably hear. We'll see you all guys in the next one. Much love. Much Cheers. love. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, Goodbye. You're so weird. <laughs> you're so weird. <laughs>